the nasal cavity is developed differently than the oral cavity. This is for eating, not breathing. This is for breathing. What is up everyone, it's Ruth. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR stuff is 1907 Mario.com coupon code for show. Oh, Mario. Spritz, Intelligent Elephant, Oregon. Oh, those noises sound good. All other discounts in the pinned comment below to support this shadow band content. Please like the video. It helps more people see it. Today, I'm going to be ranting about what is deforming males' jaws the most, causing you to be unattractive. And I'll have Andrew be throwing up signs because I don't really know it off the top of my head. But stop breathing through your mouth. Breathe through your nose, Andrew. It's like Andrew Tate. Breathe air. Breathe air. Instead, it's like breathe through your nose. The mouth breathing epidemic, which hopefully Andrew's showing pictures of the deformities caused by mouth breathing, is what's causing you to be ugly as fuck or weighing in on it. Everyone, like I'm ugly, but we're, we're, we're all moving towards the right direction, not the wrong direction. Nasal breathing will completely change your life in a matter of couple days. I talked about it with Andrew the one day, how you should not be breathing through your mouth, especially when you're sleeping. Andrew took my advice, mouth taped his mouth. Yeah, he put tape on his mouth to go to sleep. I know that sounds crazy to some of you, especially some of you younger people, but if you tape your mouth shut and breathe through your nose, I guarantee you wake up more refreshed and overall you will look more attractive. Yes, I'm saying it more attractive as this goes on with the nasal breathing. Stop mouth breathing. There's really only like a couple times you should actually be mouth breathing is like when you're super winded, right? If you're super winded, you can mouth breathe. If you're talking, you should be breathing through your nose. If you're sleeping, you should be breathing through your nose. The nasal cavity is developed differently than the oral cavity. This is for eating, not breathing. This is for breathing. That's what's hard for people to realize. The other thing, is like, oh, my nose is always so stuffy, blah, blah, blah. That's because you're not nasal breathing all the time. As you nasal breathe constantly over weeks, your nose will expand and you'll be able to breathe even deeper than when you started taping your mouth. It's that dramatic. I'll have Andrew throw up the pictures of the jaw issues that mouth breathing causes and the jaw issues of nasal breathing. There's no jaw issues of nasal breathing. That's how it's supposed to be done. You could combine nasal breathing with mewing. So mewing has been talked about by a lot of Vandy biohackers. I try to stay out of Vandy biohacking unless I'm roasting for an asteroid. Ha, ha, ha. But the mewing definitely will make a difference. So if you nasal breathe and mew, which mewing, you're pushing your tongue on the top of your mouth and trying to shove your jaw down, which should pronounce your jaw more while you're nasal breathing, redoing your face while you're hopefully at a lean body fat, not like me and the bloat Lord. This is what's going to help you over the long run. But if you mouth, that was a big ass voice. <laughs> Keep that one in there. <laughs> if you mouth breathe for years straight, your health is gonna deteriorate. You're gonna notice you're gonna feel like shit. And a lot of people, especially people like me who are like 260, have issues sleeping. You know, I basically need a CPAP machine. I'm always avoiding it. I really wanna go, like I don't need one under 230 pounds. I have my girlfriend watch me. But like when I'm above 250, I am mouth breathing at night and it's very hard for me to sleep. And overall, I wake up less refreshed. If you nasal breathe, you will wake up more more refreshed, you have more energy, and overall you'll be in a better mind state, guaranteed. It's not even funny, it's dramatic. Stop breathing through your mouth, breathe through your nose, get to an extreme point where you're taping your mouth shut before you sleep, and I guarantee if you do this for a couple weeks straight, you'll be like, oh my, if you're breathing through your mouth. You're so glad you stopped that bullshit. I will see you guys in my next video.